So now it comes down to the nitty gritty details. Uh, when I look at what KPIs work most generally in terms of what makes things grow, there is one thing which sort of out games every single other metric, and that is time to wow. Time to wow I like to use conceptually in order to uh, understand why users drop off uh, the more time I take delivering on the promise I gave them when I first contact them, contacted them. And so think about it this way. Let's say you have a sign up page and you promise people that they will get an awesome experience if they just click this button to join. The more steps and the more time before I get the awesomeness, that awesome sensation, the more time it takes, the, the, the less uh, your thing will go viral. Same goes with videos. If you don't have a little thing in the beginning that sort of hooks me right away, that little time to the first sensation, you see the headline, you click the play button, you watch a few seconds, you want something, you want the hint of what's coming. That time you need to make as short as possible when I get my first sensation and then people will be willing to watch it forever and ever and ever. But if you limit that time, both shares will go up and the time you can keep your visitor will go up. So time to wow is essential when you create a creative such as a photo, it needs to be to the point, you create an app, you need to get the delivery of the service right away as you hit that button, a video within three seconds, you need to give them something a reason essentially to continue watching that video, etc. etc. Time to wow. It's a simple but an extremely powerful metric to use in order to activate people.